An Omaha staple for youth sports is set for a major expansion. Tranquility Park has served as a home for baseball and soccer fans and players for five decades. As Kate Team News Watch 7's Kaylee Cersei reports, the city says it's time to evolve. In just a year, 45,000 kids run the bases and trek through the grass at Tranquility Park, one that served Omaha for decades. I actually played soccer on these fields um, growing up in grade school. After 50 years of hosting two thirds of the city's youth soccer teams. It's time to expand, upgrade and build tranquility in the surrounding area into a premier youth soccer multi-sports complex and tournament facility and destination. The city of Omaha is devoting $54 million to implement up to 16 multi-use synthetic turf fields and up to 11 baseball and softball fields. Youth development, youth opportunities are, are needed more and more every day, everywhere. Adding better parking and concessions. We utilize what we already have in our system and develop that in a way where this can be a hub and people can come to a single location. And Once West Maple was widened, Omaha City Council Vice President Amy Melton says it opened the door for new opportunities. Now that that's complete, I am so happy that we're able to move on and now see the economic development that's going to spur from really from widening that road and making it possible for people to get here. Including new partnerships to further grow the area of 120th and Fort and Maple. Provide a place that uh, all of Omaha can go to uh, before, before and after games any day of the week. Developer Patrick Mulhall says within walking distance of the park will be Tranquility Commons, filled with 244 apartment units, restaurants, entertainment and hotels. We want people to not only stay here, but we want Kansas City and Des Moines to come to us. A project Mulhall says will help fund the park thanks to the sales turn back tax bill. Any new developments within 600 yards of this new park will help pay for the park. As each phase of the park is constructed, Mulhall says so are the comments, with the project completion date set for 2027. Kaylee Searcy, KTV, Newswatch 7.